in the context of Western sanctions and diplomatic isolation, Russia is forced to develop economic ties with China. The first year of a full-scale war against Ukraine ended for the Federation with a record level of trade turnover with China, more than $190 billion. Russia turned to the East not because it wanted to or worked for it, but because it was forced to. And in this compulsion there is the main dependence. Russia has no other options now. Russian diplomacy is in a certain isolation. The only way to remain on the global agenda is to develop ties with countries that have not turned their backs on Russia. Timur Umarov, fellow at the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center, in an interview with BBC News Russian service. Even though China maintains relations with its aggressive neighbor, Moscow should not count on Beijing to lend a helping hand. It is beneficial for China to receive raw materials from the Federation, for example, at a discount. 40% of Russian energy exports go to China compared to 20% in pre-war times. However, China does not become energy dependent on Moscow by controlling the market. But the power of Siberia T project, a pipeline that is beneficial to Moscow, remains only on paper. If you can use the Russian territory to ensure that a certain number of Chinese live there, if you can make money from the Russian military industrial complex, for God's sake, why not? Therefore, China is absolutely predictable. It is sinocentric. But this is such a balance. If the Chinese leadership worsens relations with Taiwan, this will be precisely a distraction from real social and economic problems. Three turnover with Russia allows China to strengthen its national currency, the yuan, in pursuit of replacing what Russian officials claim are unfriendly euros and dollars for the Russian economy. Moscow is increasing the volume of yuan trading. Between January and July 2023 alone, the volume of yuan trading on the Moscow exchange increased six and a half times. Of course, China's share of Russian trade has increased significantly. But you know, totalitarian countries can trade in this mode for decades, exchanging different resources, tools and money. That is, they have their own business there, their own coven. Experts say that such unequal cooperation between the two countries makes the Federation's economy vulnerable. Russia's dependence on China will only increase, and China can use this situation to push through the contract's terms it wants. And having alternatives, the ability to buy oil, gas and other resources from other regions, China can push Russia using sanctions as leverage. Alexander Gabuyev, director of the Carnegie Russia Eurasia Center, in an interview with BBC News Russian Service. Apart from the Chinese market, Russia has few alternatives, for example India, but the trade turnover between the countries is several times less than with China. Experts warn that such economic dependence on only one market, the Chinese, may result in Russia's inability to make independent political decisions. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.